on team. So you want to get better at overcoming obstacles. So whatever's going on in your life that is holding you back, that's keeping you from being pr productive, that is something that you are struggling with. How do we overcome those obstacles? Well, set yourself up for success by identifying what the obstacle is and two solutions on how to get past it. For instance, if you're on your phone too much, like myself, turn the notifications off, put it in another room. Uh, when you're working, put it in the drawer, don't let it come out. Um, put it on silent. Um, that has been a very big game changer for myself. I'm just muting the phone now when it actually is on a ringer. It surprises me because I'm just simply not used to it. Um, so if you're struggling with nutrition, if there are snacks that you continue to go after, put them in a different room. Don't buy them. Tell, tell your husband or wife or significant other, whoever it is, that you know you only get one, but it's on a reward system as opposed to you get to have it whenever you want and it's always at your disposal. Um, I think that if you are able to become aware of the obstacle and then provide two different ways to get around the obstacle, then it no longer is an obstacle. It doesn't have weight over you, okay? Um, for myself, uh, peanut butter was a huge thing that I could not get past. I loved peanut butter, but when, whenever I bought it, I'd eat the whole jar. Um, and that was a major, major issue. And honestly, there was a lot of stress mentally that kept hanging over my head because every time I bought it, I felt like I had to eat it. And, and you want to build a healthier relationship around that. You want to build a healthier relationship around these obstacles that are holding you back. Um, so now I do have a healthier relationship with peanut butter. It sounds funny, but it's a very real thing. And there are many people out there who struggle with that. Now, yours might be potato chips or tortilla chips or chips and salsa or whatever it is. Um, it could simply be that you don't like going to the gym. Okay. So if you don't like going to the gym, all right, then do home workouts. Okay. If that's another obstacle, then you have to figure out solutions on overcoming these obstacles and how to get past them because there should be no obstacles in our way but the last thing that should get in our way is ourselves um i don't like getting in my own way i don't like when i'm not productive i don't like when i am my biggest obstacle um and i'm sure a lot of you out there identify with that so find your obstacle create two solutions to that obstacle then set in motion two plans for each one then you're just setting yourself up to, for success okay so the we want to make sure that we are preparing to succeed we are we are planning okay we want to make our lives easier the better plan you have then you're able to overcome obstacles that may come up in the moment there are a lot of things that happen that we aren't able to you know plan for so but the better we are planned the easier it's going to be to overcome that that out of left field obstacle because everything else is in motion everything else is in motion and something's going to come in there's going to be a wrench that's just going to happen that's life life happens like that but the better we have a plan the better our routine is the better we are with all these our our known obstacles that's just going to make overcoming those out of left field obstacles that much easier. All right. So guys, if this was helpful for you, let me know. Um, I'd love to know what obstacles you are dealing with. Um, I shared some of mine with, with my phone. I, I, I did the same thing with my computer by turning the notifications off on this. It's amazing. Um, the same with peanut butter. That was a big issue on my road to 45 pounds of weight loss. So team, let me know in the comments below. Uh, hopefully this helped you and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to talk about. We'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.